Slam that like button if you love cookies. In this Brookhaven mini-movie, baby Kira caught something at daycare. Daisy thinks it's zombieism, and Molly thinks Daisy is being ridiculous. That is, until baby Kira turns green and has spots all over. They find out she has chicken pox. But can Molly and Daisy cure her, or do they end up with chicken pox too? Watch to the end of this video to find out. And don't forget to like this video and comment below. Yes, I love when we have teachers in service because then we get out at noon and we have the whole afternoon to ourselves. Yeah, and there's no detention, which you definitely would be in if there was. What? No, I wouldn't. I actually did all my homework and I turned it in on time. Who are you and what have you done with my sister? I'm an alien and I took your sister's place. You did? Oh my gosh. You can call me no 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 No! Incorrect! Na 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 na! Try again! I'm sorry, but can I have my sister back, please? <laughs> Daisy, this is just a face mask. What? Yeah! <laughs> it's cream for your face to make you young. Where'd you get that from? Mom's bathroom. <laughs> Apparently, she thinks she looks old or something. Molly, take that off right now! Can't believe you pretended to be an alien. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. Come on, let's go ask mom if we can go do something fun. Like what, Molly? Like go down to the beach. That sounds so much fun. My brain is fried. And I only was at school for like three hours. Mom! Mom, where are you? Uh, I'm right here, Molly. Uh, how is school? Mom, you sound frazzled. What's wrong? Have you been doing dishes this entire time? Because I feel like I saw you doing dishes before I left for school. Hmm, this apple is delicious. Um, no, I'm just doing some dishes from when I ate lunch today. I've got to go pick up baby Kira early from daycare. You do? Why? Yeah, Mom. Why aren't you going back to work? No, baby Kira. Well, she needs picked up. They said she's not feeling too good. Oh, no. Maybe she just needs to go poo-poo in her diaper. Oh, Molly, I doubt that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Babies go poo-poo all the time. Mom, um, well, since we got out of school early and I don't have a detention for a change, could we go down to the beach? Please, 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 please. Please, Mom. Sure, I don't care, but be back by four, okay? Okay, Mom. First, I gotta have a snack. A healthy one, Molly. Okay, fine. Mm. I'm sure this banana's pretty good. If it was inside an ice cream and called the banana split, that is. <laughs> Daisy, hurry up. Come on, I want to go to the beach. Oh, my sister takes forever. She has to look just right, just perfect to go to the beach. I'm coming, Molly. I had to brush my hair and stuff. <laughs> you look adorable. So don't you, Molly. Wow, you've really upped your game with the fashion stuff. Yep. Yeah. I love this bathing suit and these sunglasses. Okay, Molly, let's get out of here. Daisy, I think that school should only be half day every day. Well, I don't think that's ever going to happen because we already have Saturday and Sunday off. Would you have to go to school half day Saturday and Sunday? Absolutely not. We'd only go to school Monday through Friday, but we'd only go from 8 a.m. to noon. And then we'd have a beach day every day. That's great until it snows, Molly. Okay, well, then we could have a ski day in the winter. I think we need to learn more than that, Molly. Nah. What could we possibly learn that we wouldn't learn, like, being at the beach? A lot of things. Science, English, blah, blah, blah. That's all I hear, Daisy. <laughs> See you later, school. Ugh, school. Just looking at it gives me a stomach ache. Molly, don't be so dramatic. Besides, we're at the beach. Yes! The beach, the beach, it's so much fun. No singing, Molly. What? Who made you boss? I made me boss. No singing at the beach. This is just relax time. Fine. Daisy, want to get in the water? Huh? 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 Molly, no, we don't want to get in the water. Sheesh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, fine, Molly. Ah, <sighs> this feels so good. This is the life, I'm telling you. I could just chill out here all day day. And at night, too, we could unroast marshmallows and stuff. That would be pretty amazing. Except for I didn't bring any marshmallows. I don't think. Let me check my backpack. Marshmallows. Okay, I have a monkey. I have a stethoscope. 
I have money. I have a tent. We could sleep in the tent. Wait a minute. I found a marshmallow. Well, congratulations, Molly. Do you want a trophy? Yeah, a marshmallow trophy. Hey, guacamole. Is it getting dark already? Yeah, Molly, we should roast marshmallows and stuff. Sounds good to me. This is gonna be so good. Yep, it totally is, Molly. Don't catch us on fire. No, I like mine to be burned. Like, I like mine to be totally on fire. Ew. No one's like so s'mores like that. I love them like that. Delish. Molly, oh my gosh, it's past four o'clock. Oh, no, we're late. It's almost five. Come on. I feel like we just got here, though. Too bad, Molly. We gotta go. Okay, well, maybe we can come to the beach tomorrow. Dizzy, step on it. You drive like a granny. I drive safely, Molly. OMG. If safe is five miles an hour, come on. You're gonna get a ticket just for driving too slow. We're here already, Miss Complains a lot. Mom, mom. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry that we're home late. Girls, you're definitely late. Oh, stay back. Baby Kara's in quarantine. Wait, what? Why? Because she is definitely sick. Everybody put on your face shields and your hazmat suits. Um, uh, mom, don't be crazy right now. I'm serious, Molly. Okay, I'm gonna go to the store and get a lot of Clorox wipes. Stay away from your sister unless she needs a snack. And then leave it on the table and back away slowly. Um, uh, okay. Oh my gosh, Molly. <laughs> Do what mom says, hurry. I don't know why everybody's freaking out. Baby Kira looks just fine to me. Yeah, you look totally fine to me. Molly, I think she might be turning into a... a, a zombie! A zombie? What are you talking about? No, she's not. Yeah, why else would mom be so freaked out? She's gonna start the zombie apocalypse. We have to keep her quarantined. She looks totally normal to me. She, 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 she's got spots under her eyes. What? No, those are her... Those are her freckles. <laughs> and they're adorable. Molly, baby killer doesn't have freckles. Wait, what? So, 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 so what are those? It's the zombieism. Ah! Molly, seriously. <sighs> Daisy, get up before you catch it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Molly, put on your hazmat suit. Okay, okay, fine. Are you happy now? Yes, Molly, I feel a little safer. <sighs> I can't wait till Mom gets back with the Clorox wipes. We have to disinfect everything. Daisy, relax. I'm sure baby Kira's not turning into a zombie, right? Uh, uh, <laughs> ah! She kind of sounds like a zombie. Molly, get out the mop. Start cleaning everything. Ah, uh, snack. Ah, uh, snack. Oh, she wants a snack. Uh, do you want a brains? Uh, no. Okay, she's not full zombie yet. All right, let me go get her. Let me go get her a bottle. Here you go, baby Kira. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of throw this at you, okay? Woo! Sorry, but mom says you're infected and I don't want zombieism. Here you go. Mm, that tastes like brains. It doesn't taste like brains. Of course not. It's it's milk. I don't like it. I'll focus. Daisy, I think she's turning green. Don't be ridiculous, Molly. A zombieism couldn't turn uh, into a zombie that quickly. <laughs> Baby Kira, I'm sorry you're turning into a zombie. I don't feel good. Ah! She is green! Okay, okay, we gotta stay back. We gotta stay back. What does she need, says Molly? She is our sister after work. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know. She's gonna eat our brains. I want my mommy. I want my mommy. Okay, Baby Kira, just sit on the couch, okay? Mom will be back soon and she'll know what to do about your zombieism. Oh, Baby Kira, I'm so sorry. How'd you turn into a zombie? Did one of the other kids at daycare bite you or something? Molly, I've got I've got the fire extinguisher just in case. Daisy, we don't need a fire extinguisher. She's our little sister. Girls, I'm back with the Clorox wipes. Oh, thank goodness mom's back. She'll know what to do about baby Kira being a zombie. Oh my gosh, baby Kira, you're green. I know, right? She's a zombie. She's... What? A zombie mom, look, her skin is green. She's got spots. Girls, your sister is not a zombie. <laughs> what made you think she was turning into a zombie? You said she was contagious and we had to be quarantined. She had to be quarantined. We had to stay away from her. Girls, the reason why I wanted you to stay away from her is because she has chicken pox and neither of you have had it yet, which means you could catch it. Chicken pox? Why is she green? Because that can throw up. Oh no. Her tummy's upset. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, come on, baby Kira. Go into the bathroom. Oh, baby Kira. I'm so sorry you don't feel good, honey. 
Come on, I'll give you some medicine and you can lay down. Do you feel better? A little better now? Is your tummy a little bit better? Yeah, I don't want any more to eat. Oh, I understand, sweetheart. Come on, let's give you some medicine and have you lay down. Poor baby Kira! This whole time I thought she was being a zombie. Oh, Molly, don't get so close. I don't want you to get the chicken pox. They're not very fun, as you can tell. Would you go up into the medicine cabinet and get some medicine for her? She needs some Tylenol. Sure, Mom! Oh, my gosh. Poor baby Kira. I feel so bad for her. Wait a minute. Where am I going? <laughs> I have to go into the bathroom. Mom, I've got the baby Tylenol. Mom? She went upstairs with baby Kira. She really doesn't feel good. Okay. I'll go upstairs. <sighs> Ugh, I'm starting to get a headache a little bit. Must be I was just so stressed out. Molly, you're not on the second floor yet. Ugh, this is not working. The elevator isn't working. Ugh, finally the elevator worked. Mom? Mom? Okay, she must be in like her room or something. Oh, baby Kira. Here, baby Kira, this is gonna make you feel so much better. Take some of this baby Tylenol. It'll help you um, just not be in pain anymore and stuff, okay? Okay, I do it. Wow, she must really be sick. She never likes taking medicine. She really doesn't feel good, Molly. Uh, I think we should try to let her get some rest. Give yeah, rest, rest. <laughs> Wow, she's sleeping already. She must be so sick. My poor baby. I hate seeing any of you sick. It's okay, Mom. Pull it together. Pull it together. We have to keep this all together for baby Kira. You're right. Uh, I've got to dry my tears. I just hate seeing any of my girls not feel good. Uh, speaking of not feeling good, uh, I kind of have a headache. Oh, no, Molly. That's how baby Kira started with the chicken pox. What? No, I don't want that chicken pox. Oh my gosh, that sounds that sounds terrible. Nope, I don't have them. I'm running away. Um, Molly, you can't run away from the chicken pox. They kind of invade your body. What? Daisy, I've got terrible news. What is it, Molly? Your show isn't on? Baby Kira threw up on you? What? Um, I may have the chicken pox. Why are you sitting so close to me? What is wrong with you? Um, yeah, maybe you should stay away from your sister. Oh my gosh, get the disinfectant. Holy guacamole, I'm gonna get the chicken pox because Molly couldn't stay away from Daisy now, could she? Daisy, why are you talking about yourself that way? I don't know. I'm just freaking out right now, I guess. <laughs> you girls, I guess, are gonna have the chicken pox. I mean, it had to happen eventually, right? What? No! It could happen never! Ugh, I don't feel so good, Mom. Ugh. 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 Girls, I thought we already established that no one is turning into a zombie. It's just chicken pox. But she's moaning like a zombie. That's because my head hurts and my stomach too. Ugh. Well, Molly, I guess you can take off your hazmat suit and face mask because it seems like you've caught it. Oh, no. I'm going to be in my comfy pajamas then because I definitely need comfy pajamas when I don't feel good. Oh, no, Molly. You have the spots. What? The spots? No, I don't want the spots. I, I, I need my cuddly monkey. I need my cuddly monkey. Okay, Molly, don't panic. Here you go. Cuddly monkey. <laughs> I got the spots. Uh-oh, my stomach kind of feels weird. Oh, my gosh. Stay back. Stay back from me, chicken pox invaders. Daisy, it's still me, your sister. No. No, it's not. You're a chicken pox zombie, and I don't want it. Daisy! Oh, Daisy, try to be nice to your sister. That's no longer my sister. That's the chicken pox zombie. I told you I'm not a zombie. Uh, uh. Then why are you moaning like that? Because! Uh. Ah, why are you green like that? Because uh, I don't feel good. Whoa, you're really bright green, Molly. I think you might have it worse than baby Kira. I don't know, but I'll be right back. Monkey has to go potty. Really, zombie? I don't believe you. You're probably in there eating brains. Nope, nope. I definitely am not eating brains. Oh, I don't feel so good. Oh, I'm dying. Molly, you're not dying. It's just a chicken box. Come on, we'll give you some medicine. Oh. Stay back, zombie chicken pox person, fig, creature. Make her be nice to me. <laughs> Daisy, try to be nice to your sister, okay? That's not my sister. That's not my sister. Whatever. I'm going to go lay down. The chicken pox can't get me. The chicken pox can't get me. The chicken pox can't get me. Oh. <laughs> Daisy, where are you? Daisy. 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 I don't, I, don't, I don't want to see anybody. Daisy? Oh, no. Daisy, you caught 
to zombieism. I mean chicken pox. I know, I'm a zombie. Oh, Daisy, you're not a zombie, honey. It's just chicken pox. But I guess you can take your hazmat suit off, your mask, and put on your pajamas. Oh, no. I feel terrible. Come on, up to bed. Oh, I can't even move. Oh, it's all Marley's fault. She sat too close to me. Well, the truth of the matter is, Daisy, is when you live with somebody else as chicken pox, even if you disinfect everything and you try to be super cautious and stay away from each other, you usually catch it. Chicken pox is highly contagious, but the good news is you'll only ever get it once. Really? Well, that's good news. What about my science test? Oh, no. You're not going to class for at least a week. What? I gotta miss school? Oh, I'm gonna be brain dead by the time I go back to school. I really am a zombie. Come on, Daisy. Off to bed with you. Oh, oh, oh. So sick. So sick. Oh, so sick. Oh, my poor girls. All three of you have chicken pox. You look terrible. Like zombies. Oh, I never knew you could look like a zombie if you want one. I think everyone sort of feels like a zombie when they get sick, girls, especially with chicken pox. But don't worry, I have some very good medicine. Do you mean very good that it tastes good? No, it tastes terrible, but it'll make you feel better. Oh, when's this going to be over? When the last spot disappears. Oh, great. I have spots. But as we will, me too. Oh. Well, girls, uh, having the chicken pox is like a rite of passage. Pretty much everybody gets it. Oh, man. I don't know if I'll survive it. Hey, Molly. Oh, hey, Brookie. So, um, do you want to go get some ice cream with me? Sorry, I can't. What? You're turning down ice cream? What's wrong with you? Are you sick? Do you have a fever? No, I have detention. <laughs> detention? How did you manage to get detention? School's almost over. We only have a couple more days until summer break. I know, but the teacher said that if I don't go to detention every day until summer break, I'm gonna have to do summer school. Whoa, I might still have to do summer school if my report card's bad enough. Well, sorry to hear that, Molly. The ice cream's gonna be delicious. Mm. Did somebody say ice cream? You don't get to get ice cream if I don't, Daisy. Actually, Molly, I could get ice cream anytime I want because I did my schoolwork all year long. And now it's almost summer break and I don't have any homework. Oh, cool. Uh, finally, someone to go with me. Come on, Daisy, we could go together. Wait, what? You guys are gonna get ice cream without me? Ow. Do you think that's really nice? Uh, sorry, Molly, but, uh, you made your bed. Now you have to lie in it in detention. There's no beds in detention. If there was, I'd take a nap. Well, I'm sorry, Molly, but I really want to get ice cream, and Daisy said she'd go with me. But don't worry, when summer break starts, you could go with us. Fine, I guess I'll just go to detention while you guys have something delicious. Sounds good to me. Bye, Molly. <coughs> Ugh, this detention thing is getting really old. Ugh, even the teachers are sick of having a detention with me. My teacher, she sent me to the library and said, read something. I'm sick of sitting in detention with you all night. Now what I'm going to do? This is going to be so boring. 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 Ugh, there's like nothing to do. I guess I'll just get on my phone. Uh-oh. Hey, what? Someone just commented on my YouTube channel. If you go to the school and you, wait, what? You have a sign in the bathroom that says Bloody Mary and then you turn the lights on and off like a thousand times, something bad will happen? That's got to be made up, right? Or is it? Well, since I've got nothing better to do while I'm in this solo detention, I guess I'll try it. <laughs> I'm not afraid of Bloody Mary. Don't be ridiculous. Bloody Mary at our school? I doubt it. I bet this Star Squad fan was just saying that to, like, freak me out or something. And it's not even true. So I'm going to try it. All right. I got the sign. So I'm just going to write, um, they said, write Bloody Mary on it. I'm even going to write it in red. <laughs> just because I'm that daring. Okay, I've got the Bloody Mary sign. I'm going to look in the mirror with it. 
Okay, perfect. Now it says to go turn the lights on and off like a million times. Or a thousand or something. A lot. A lot of times. All right, here goes nothing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just gonna keep turning them on and off and 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 on and off. Till eternity! A few minutes later. One hour later. One eternity later. Uh, I don't think that did anything, so, um, this detention is still boring and lame. Except for the fact there's pizza in the cafeteria! That looks delicious. Mmm, so good. Mmm, mmm. <sighs> now what am I gonna do? Look at some more comments. What? Here's another person that says you have to do... Oh my god, you have to turn around three times in the mirror! That's what I did wrong. Okay. Someone else corrected this person's comment and said, No, 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 no. You have to hold up the sign that says Bloody Mary and then turn around three times. I had done it wrong. Alright, here we go, guys. I've got my sign. I looked in the mirror. Now I'm going to turn around three times. All right, now I gotta go turn the lights on and off. Do you guys think this is a good idea or a bad idea to try to call on Bloody Mary? I'm just so bored in this last attention before school's over. I'm, I'm just doing it. I'm gonna push this button like a thousand times and honestly, I kinda hope I do see Bloody Mary because uh, that's how bored I am in detention right now. Yep, didn't work, myth busted. <laughs> What am I going to do during this super long detention? <laughs> what was that? That was super creepy sounding. I didn't like that. I didn't like it at all. Now I'm kind of curious if... Ah! I think that that's Bloody Mary's in the bathroom! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm stuck in the school in detention and Bloody Mary is literally in the bathroom right now, guys. I ran into her. How did this happen? Whoever commented that below on my YouTube channel, you were right, that worked. I'm gonna call Daisy or text her or something. What, Molly? I need to get ice cream right now. Why are you bugging me? Listen, I am still in detention and I did this Bloody Mary like thing that I read that, 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 that I read on my comments section on my YouTube channel and, and I saw her Bloody Mary in the bathroom of the school. Bloody quipping ridiculous. You're not going to ruin my time with Bookie just because you can't eat ice cream. Ow. No, I'm being really serious. Um, Daisy, she sounds really freaked out. I think she might be telling the truth. We'll go back into the bathroom and see if she's still there. If she is, Bookie and I will come. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna Snapchat this. You guys are gonna wanna see this. Um, Molly, what's happening? Nothing. She's not even in here. <gasps> Molly, call us back if you have a real problem. Ugh, they don't believe me. All right, now I have to do this again. Because if I don't, my sister will never believe me. All right, here's my sign. Look in the mirror. And then turn around three times. One. Two. Three. Turn the lights on and off about a thousand times. Okay. You guys saw that, right? That was creepy. <gasps> this is a private server, so there's no one else in here. At least, I don't know. Maybe it spawns Bloody Mary into your private server? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> huh, what? What? What was that? Oh, my God. Is Bloody Mary just behind me? Something really weird is going on. Bloody Mary! Is that you? I'm not afraid of you. Okay, I'm a little bit, but not that much. You can't hurt me. Ah! You're so creepy. Blah! What? What the heck just happened? I just got disconnected. All right, I'm going to try to go back into our private server and um, just see what happened because maybe it's just a coincidence that I got disconnected. Let's try again. 
OMG, guys. I just got back in. I don't know. Maybe that was just like a glitch or something. But I am back in the um, Brookhaven game. So, I, I don't know. Let's go back to the school and investigate some more. Because, I don't know. I think I might have actually gotten disconnected. But, first of all, I think I'm going to go get um, Brookie and my sister. And tell them what's happening. Because I know what I saw. I know what I saw. <laughs> Brookie, Daisy, I have to tell you something. Buddy, what do you want right now? We're trying to enjoy our ice cream. Don't you have detention? Uh, yeah, Molly, you're gonna get another detention. Whoa, you looks like you just saw a ghost. Are you gonna tell us a fib about Bloody Mary again? It's not a fib, it's the truth. And then this last time, when I ran into her, I got disconnected from Brookhaven, from our private server. Whoa, are you being serious, Molly? Maybe this is some sort of weird ban. I don't know, but will you guys come back to the school with me? I'm just kind of freaked out. Yeah, sure. We're your friends. Well, she's your sister, but I'm your best friend. Hey, I could be her friend, too, if she wasn't so annoying. Daisy, I'm not annoying! Uh, sure you're not. Come on, we'll go with you. And prove once and for all, it's all in your imagination. <laughs> see, Molly? We don't see anything. That's because you didn't hold up the sign and turn around three times. After you look in the mirror with it, and then turn on the lights about a thousand times. On and off, and on and off, and on and off. Really? That's what it said to do? Uh, yes, and it worked. Uh, okay, Molly, well, we're here for you. Try it again and see what happens. Well, Molly, are you going to do it? I don't know. I don't want to get disconnected from Brookhaven again. But here goes nothing. Here's my sign that says Bloody Mary. I'm looking in the mirror. And now, I'm going to turn around three times. One. Two. Three. Now what, Molly? I have to turn the light on and off like a thousand times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One million, zillion, jillion, dillion, cotillion times later. I'm not looking at Bloody Mary. She's creepy. Do you see her anywhere, Molly? No, not not yet. She doesn't always appear right away. Well, what's happening? Well, Daisy, you could open your own eyes and look. I don't think so. I don't see her anywhere, Molly. I think maybe it was just a coincidence you got disconnected. Um, no! There she is! OMG, run! Guys? Uh, were you gonna wait for me? Guys! <laughs> <laughs> what just happened wait what disconnected you were kicked from this game you've been banned for cheating suspicion <gasps> unbanned in 10 hours error code 267 Ow. wait what what cheating suspicion all i did was try this Bloody Mary hack in Brookhaven and I got banned for 10 hours? O-M-G, Molly. I think that's another player and when you do that, it allows them into your private server and then they ban you. O-M-G. So, wait, was this fan somebody that actually was trying to get into our private server and by doing those things they were able to? Sounds like it, Molly. Uh-oh. I guess you're doomed to play Abby's for 10 hours. Oh, man! Ugh. All I can do is play Abby's for 10 hours! Ow! Oh. Well, I guess I'll make the best of it. Ah! <laughs> I forgot how much fun Abby's are. Hey, uh, Daisy. Brookie, you guys want to play this Abby with me? No, we're going back into roleplay in Brookhaven. What? Without me? Sorry, but we didn't take the Bloody Mary challenge. That's just creepy. We're going back to eat out now, ice cream. Hey, get out, having a sleepover. Oh, man. And here I am, stuck in a dungeon. Aww. <laughs> Sleepover party! We're having a sleepover party! It's gonna be so much fun! Yay! I can't wait till Bookie gets you! It's gonna be an amazing day! Uh, Daisy, the dance scene was over 10 seconds ago. Oh, well, excuse me! 
Uh, Dizzy, come on. We need to go to the store because we have to buy snacks because our best friend is going to be here any minute. I'll drive. Uh, yeah, right, Molly. No, I'm driving. What are you talking about? My driving's great. Molly, you're going to kill us. Slow down and stay on the right side of the road. What are you talking about? My driving's great. We're going to die. Oh, God, she's going to run into the daycare window. Ah, Molly. Uh, yeah, no, Molly, I'm driving. I feel like surviving today. I don't know what you're talking about. My driving's not that bad. Haha, uh -huh, sure it's not. You've been playing Roblox for how long? You still can't drive a car. <laughs>
thought you guys would like it. Come on, let's go check in. <laughs> Going around and around and around. <sighs> Good thing there's not a long line. Hi, how can I help you? Sarah? You work at the trampoline park? Yes, now where is your ticket? Oh, uh, yeah, um, so I just bought tickets online. They're under Brookie. Sorry, we don't have your reservation. Wait, what? Say what? No, Sarah, uh, she made a reservation. I saw the paper printout tickets. Sorry, can't let you into the trampoline park. Ow. Have a nice life. What? Let me talk to your manager. Is there a problem here? Yeah, my friend bought three tickets and this bully's trying to keep us out of the trampoline park. Oh, let me take a look at your reservation. Under Brookie Cookie? That's right. You're all good to go. Have fun at the trampoline park. Yeah, Sarah. Have fun at the trampoline park. <laughs> OMG. Look wow. at it. It's a giant. Whee! It's a giant foam um, block pit. Oh my god, that's fun. <laughs> you can't find me. Wait, I can't get out. Can't get out. Panicking. Molly, just take your time. You can get back out, jeepers. All right, I'm going to try this trampoline next. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look how high I'm jumping. Wow. <laughs> I did a backflip. Whoa, Molly, that was awesome. Whoa, that was a really high jump. Now look at me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ow, I hit my head on that one. Let's try a front flip. Molly, you're like a natural when it comes to the trampoline. Yeah, I really like it, but I'm telling you what. I'm going to eat a lot of pizza after this. Wee! This is fun of a heel! Oh, look. It's Molly. Oh, hey! That was a baddie from my school. <laughs> Brookie, look! Come on! Let's do this obby! Where's Brookie? Uh, I'm kind of missing her right now. Oh, there she is. Brookie, come on! Okay, Molly, we can do the obby together. Oh, the swings are... They, like, actually swing. Oh! The floor is lava! Ah! Okay, not really. The floor is a foam pit, but I'm pretending it's lava. Somebody is in this um, trampoline park dressed as a giant cat. <laughs> Whee! Yes! Molly, come on. Next is the obstacle course. Oh, yeah. I'm failing at that. Oh, I'm riding on the cat's back. <laughs> that was an easier way to make it. Oh, man. One at a time, Molly. If everybody pushes, no one's going to make it across. Okay, here I come. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm actually making it right. Oh, and then I died at the end. You're such a loser. That obstacle course is so easy. Really? Because the cat can't seem to do it. Do I look like a dumb cat? Watch me. Sarah, what are you even doing here? Crashing your sleepover trampoline park party or whatever it is. Listen to her, Molly. She's just rude. Yeah, Sarah, let's see you do it, huh? You're so great at it. Oh, Sarah! You just fell in the foam pit. Whatever. I'm I'm just like warming up. See? No, I see Ooh. you falling in the foam pit. Come on, Brookie. Let's go play somewhere else. It's glow time. Molly, take out your glow stick. Whoa, look at my glow stick. It just like makes all these colors when I jump around. OMG, that's so cool. All right, I'm going to jump on a trampoline with it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is the best day of my life. Whoa, guys, look at this. It's like wipeout. All right, let's play this. This looks like so much fun. Um, gee, okay, here comes the wipeout thing. Ah! I already lost. <laughs> okay, um, let's try that again. Wait, where'd it go? Molly, we can all play together if you want. Okay, uh, I got hit on the very first round, though, so I may or may not be good at this. It's okay, Molly. You're just here to have fun. Not, It's not like a competition. Yes, it is, losers. Ugh, oh, Sarah. I can't believe she's here just to bug us. Come on, Molly. You can do this. I believe in you. Ha-ha. 
so far I'm doing good. Oh, and then I died at the end. Guys, let's go down that giant slide. Well, first let's try, let's climb up this rock wall and then go down that giant slide. OMG! Slam that like button if you would go down this giant slide into this foam ball pit. Because it's going to be fun! Um, why am I just laying down like that? Oh, I'm stuck on the slide! Five minutes later. Wow, look at that. You're so fat you got stuck in the slide. What? No, I'm kind of really stuck. Ow! It's hurting my arm! Sarah, I thought you worked here. Can you go get help? I don't work here. I just pretended to work here so that I could tell you you couldn't come to the trampoline park. Sarah, just go tell the owner that Molly's stuck at the top of the slide now. Ugh, fine. Molly, everything's going to be okay. Just hold on. Ugh, I'm stuck. I'm really stuck. Ugh, I'm going to try to get out. Oh, guys. Ow, 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 ow. Molly, are you okay? Yeah, but I, I, I mean, I got untrapped, but then I fell down here, and now, oh, Ow. that really hurt. Molly, just try to get up. Can you get up? Yeah, I'm just going to be really sore tomorrow. <coughs> Molly, I'm so glad you're okay. Yeah, me too, Molly. Thanks. Come on, let's go play bumper cars. <coughs> Uh, Molly, you just got unhurt. I think playing bubble cars would be a bad idea. You, Molly, you're a terrible bunch of people. You're going to put into that giant queen. Um, oh, <laughs> rookie. I'm running into you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Can I go up the stairs with this? Molly, I would not recommend that. Ooh, I'm driving into the cafe. Uh, Molly, it looks like you just got your bumper car stuck, basically. Molly, you are the worst driver ever. Hey, you're starting to sound like Sarah the bully now. Um, no, Molly, I'm not trying to bully you. I'm just saying you're a really bad driver. <laughs> uh, yeah, my bumper car is now stuck forever at the cafe. Whoopsie! Whee! This is the highest I've jumped the entire day. Whoa, Molly, you're doing really good. Keep going. Whatever. I could totally jump higher than that. Sure you could, Sarah. Sure you could. Yeah, you've just been bullying us all day. Why don't you just go away? I don't think so. Bullying you guys is so much fun. Oh, my geez, they're real! YouTubers! Oh, whatever. They're not even that cool. Um, two million subscribers says we are, Sarah. You're the only one that doesn't think we're cool. You're right. I think you're losers. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure two million subscribers think that. Uh-oh. Wh whatever. Have fun at your lame sleepover. I'm out of here. Bye, Sarah. Are you leaving yet? Or are you just going to stand here? I'm going to stand here for a minute and give you a grump face before I leave. Whoa, she just disappeared. I think she quit the game, which is good for me because now I can enjoy my sleepover with my friends and this giant ape. <laughs> Molly! <laughs> a lot of interesting people come to the trampoline park. Yeah, no kidding. Yes, baby Kira, what is it? I, I want to eat some chocolate. No, baby Kira, it's almost dinner time. You're not allowed to have chocolate before dinner. You could have some for dessert, though. I want chocolate now. I can eat it. I, I, I don't care what she say. I just a jump on my dad. I just a jump on. Mmm. Weezy cup. Mmm. And Hershey bars. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. <laughs> la, 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 la. I better get started on dinner. Who left the refrigerator open? Ugh, these girls. Wait a minute. Was there a bunch of chocolate missing in there? Baby Kira, come here, please. Uh-huh. What, Mama? What is it? Did you eat chocolate when I told you not to? Who, me? Oh, not me. Well, there's chocolate missing from the refrigerator, and you said you wanted some. Oh, but me? No, no, no. It was, it was my. Oh, it was, was it? Molly! Yeah, Mom? 
What's going on? Molly, you need to go sit in timeout. Mom, I'm way too grown up for timeout. Besides, what did I do? Molly, you ate chocolate before dinner. You know better. What? No, I didn't. I was up in my room. She knocked down a chocolate. I saw her. Baby Kira, you little stinking liar. Molly, that's enough. Go stand in the corner till dinner. But, but, but. You have Ma. Go stand in the corner. Baby Kira. Ugh. I've been framed. I can't believe this. Mama, mommy, mama, 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 mama. Ah, <sighs> yes, baby Kira, what? <laughs> I just love you. Oh, I love you too. Mama, mama, mama. What is it now? I play on computer till dinner. No, baby Kira. Remember the last time you drooled on the keyboard and then we had to buy a new one? Nobody could use the computer. I'm pickled now. Baby Kira, that was three days ago. Oh, my play! No, not without supervision. You, you really, you can go watch TV or cartoons until dinner's done. Fine. Yeah. Ah, oh, I need a vacation. I play on the computer because I'm not going to drool or get the computer broken. I, 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 big girl. I play on computer. I can't believe I'm sitting here in timeout. Well, I'm actually standing in timeout, but you know what I mean. Molly, the more you complain, the worse it's going to get. Well, I, I have to go to the bathroom. Can I go? Do you really have to go? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm going to go upstairs really quick and go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Make it quick, Molly. You're in a punishment for something I didn't even do. What's going on with the computer? Roblox? Molly, were you on this computer? What? Me? No, I, I was in the bathroom. Sure you were. You're the only one that's obsessed with Roblox. Well, Daisy likes Roblox and baby Kira likes Roblox. Not me. I'm just sitting here watching this chipmunk eat nuts. Oh my gosh. I didn't do it. Now you can stand there for an hour in timeout instead of a half an hour. But mom, I didn't do it. Molly, no excuses. Oh man, maybe I should have told the truth all those other times so she'd actually believe me. Now she thinks I'm guilty. Oh, la 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 la. Ooh, that smells, wait a minute. Why doesn't my dinner smell good? Ew, something smells horrible. Horrible! Yuck! What is that? It smells like a poo-poo diaper. Baby Kira! Baby Kira! Hi, Mama! Hi! Hi, honey. Did you go poo-poo in your diaper? Uh, no. I didn't go poo-poo in my diaper. Well, it sure smells like a stinky diaper in here. Ella Molly! She pooped in my diaper! Wait, what? I, I didn't poop in her diaper! Um, baby Kira, that's really not how it works. She did. She pooped in my diaper. I didn't do it. <laughs> that's the funniest thing I ever heard. <laughs> I pooped in your diaper. You're wearing it, baby Kira. <laughs> Babies say the weirdest thing sometimes. <laughs> okay, Molly, that's enough laughing. <laughs> I told you she was lying about everything. And now she really got caught. <laughs> Baby Kira, have you been telling me naughty lies this entire time? Um, I, uh... Baby Kira, were you the one that ate chocolate? Uh, um, uh... Yes is the answer! Yeah, I ate the chocolate. Baby Kira, you blamed that on Molly? That is so mean. Oh, ah, uh, oopsie. Did you also play on the computer and blame it on your sister? Um, yeah. Baby Kira, and you tried to blame a poopy diaper on your sister too? Um, uh, yeah. I'm sorry to have to say this, but welcome to your first time out. What? Show you exactly how to get there. I should know. I've gotten like a million timeouts over the years. 
All right, baby Kira, follow your sister to time out. And Molly, I'm really sorry that I didn't believe you. That's okay, Mom. I know I fibbed in the past before, so you didn't want to believe me this time. But I was telling the truth, and I'm not going to fib anymore. That's really good, Molly. That's really good. Now you can take your sister to time out. Come on, baby Kira. You do the crime, you do the time. Ah! Don't worry, baby Kira. It goes by fast. Well, not really. It's more like prison. Mom, since you blame for me for something that wasn't my fault, can I have some chocolate? Oh, Molly. Come on, Mom. Come on. You owe me. You owe me. Fine, Molly. One piece, though. Sure, Mom. One piece. Mm. But who determines how big the piece is? Molly. Okay, fine. I'm just going to read this. eat this Reese cup. Hey, baby, here. Are you okay? No, I got my first time, Mom. Mom, can I give baby Kira some chocolate? She feels really sad. Molly, no. She's in timeout. That's a punishment. Sorry, you can smell the chocolate if you want. Go back. I do what you want. Baby Kira, come here, please. I'm fine. I got in trouble. Do you know why you got in trouble? Uh-huh. Why don't you tell me why? Because I died and play Molly and did stuff I want both to and you said no. That's very right baby Kira. Uh, I hate giving you girls timeouts or grounding you but you have to learn that there are consequences when you do something naughty. Now I'd like you to say you're sorry to Molly. Oh man! Why do you eat that bean burrito? Ah! Baby Kira! Privacy! Privacy! Ew! Think I do do in here. Yuck! Baby Kira, oh my gosh, my sister does not know anything about privacy. Mom, baby Kira came into the bathroom. She needs a timeout. What? No! Oh, Molly, she doesn't understand yet. Well, she needs to learn to. Okay, baby Kira, say what you were going to say. I shall we. Aw. Baby Kira, it's okay. I forgive you. Thank my, you still love me? Baby Kira, I love you always. <laughs> Okay, girls, see you later. Molly, take good care of your sister. Don't worry, Mom, I will. Okay, baby Kara, what should we do first? Oh my God, don't tell me you're gonna go crazy already. <laughs> it's only been one second since Mom left. Oh my God, the dining room table is not a trampoline. Ay, ay, ay. Do you need a timeout already? <laughs> Get off the table or you can have a timeout. Okay, I'm starving. I need to make some like cupcakes or muffins or something. Let's see. Um, What do we have in the fridge that I could make? Cookies, blueberry muffins. <gasps> blueberry muffins. That sounds delicious. Bye-bye. All right, be good. Wherever you go, be good. Oh, I can't wait to eat these muffins. They're going to be so good. Put a little flour in. And then um, just stir, stir, stir. Going to add a little butter. Perfect. They're all ready to bake. Molly, Molly, what are you baking? It smells delicious. Hey, wait a minute. Where's baby Kira? I don't know. She just went in the other room. Molly, you can't leave a toddler by yourself. She's going to be getting into trouble. What? No, she won't. Molly! Okay, fine. I'll go check on her. Baby Kira! Baby Kira, what are you doing? Where are you? <laughs> splash, splash! Baby Kira! Ew, no! Don't play in the toilet! Oh, that is so gross! Okay, wash your hands right now. Wash them. I don't find you. You have to wash them. Oh, gross. Molly, your muffins are gonna burn. Oh, man. Baby Kira, come out here when you're done. Molly, I think you burned your muffins. No, no, no. They're fine. Ouch, they're really hot, though. Super, super hot. Whoa, those look delicious. You better not be playing in that toilet. What? What are you doing? No, that game is too grown up for you. You can't play it. I play it. 
No, baby Kira, you're not allowed to play that game. I don't play. No, you. Okay, I'm gonna have to give you a timeout. <laughs> go, go sit over here in the corner and in your timeout. I don't want you. I know you don't want to, but you have to for at least five minutes. I don't play you. You're me, baby Zero. I know, I'm so mean, but you're not listening. Oh, babysitting is so hard. Can we eat these muffins yet, Molly? No, you have to wait till they cool. Cheapers, what am I babysitting you too? What no, I'm not a baby. You don't even know that you need to let muffins cool? Ay, ay, ay. I should have been paid to babysit baby Kira and you. Molly, I'm not a baby. Take it back right now. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna take it back. Molly, where's baby Kira? She's in timeout. Wow, you're a mean babysitter. No, I'm not. I'm just trying to teach her. She has to listen. Blink, blink, blink. I did such a bad job. Okay, baby girl, you, you're not listening. You have to go take a nap. You're getting really grumpy and you're not being good. I don't want My little sister really wears me out. Baby Kira, I agree with Molly. You're being naughty and you're being grumpy. You're supposed to be taking a nap, so you have to go take one. <laughs> no! <laughs> I know. It stinks to be a toddler, but you are, so you have to take a nap. Okay, Baby Kira, come on. Into your room and into your crib. I don't know why you are. Yeah, get in your crib, and I'll see you in about... Two hours. <laughs> Two hours. Goodbye, baby Kira. Oh, Daisy. I know, Molly. That was crazy. I'm going to go play a game in my room. Yeah, me too. Finally, some peace and quiet. Hey, wait a minute. I forgot about the muffins I made. Ooh, they're going to be so delicious. And I don't hear anything from baby Kira's room. She must already be asleep. Hey, what happened to the muffins? Where are they? I know I put them right here. Oh, that's that's my sister Daisy eating them all. Ugh. Daisy, Daisy. What? What's the problem, Molly? Why are you yelling? And in my room. Daisy, where are the muffins? Oh, yeah, I forgot about those. Let's go eat some. No, you already ate them all, you piggy. What? No, I didn't. Liar. Yes, you did! Molly, quit calling me a liar. I didn't even remember about the muffins. That's not true. They're not out there. Molly, I'm sure you just misplaced them. Come on, I'll find them. How can I misplace muffins? <laughs> you set them on the counter and they just sit right there. Whoa, where are they, Molly? Dizzy, I don't know. Where could they have gone? Well, maybe you stored them in the fridge. Let me look. Nope, they're not in the fridge. Daisy, seriously, if you ate them, just tell me, and I'll buy, I'll make new ones or something, or I'll go to the store and buy some. Molly, I'm telling you the truth. I didn't eat the muffins. Well, but, okay, maybe I put them in my room and I forgot. Okay, where was the last place I was when I saw the muffins? Maybe you put them in the toilet. What? Why would I put them in the toilet? Because Baby Q was playing in the toilet. I don't know. OMG. I can't believe it. I lost my muffins. Ah! Molly, don't cry like a baby. <laughs> hey, what's that sound? <laughs> he sounds like baby Q was awake. What? No. She needs to sleep for another hour and 45 minutes. Wait. Daisy, where is she? I don't know, Molly. She's not in a room. OMG. Baby Kira. Baby Kira. Oh, my God. I lost the baby. This is so bad. This is so bad. She's not in the laundry room. She's not in Daisy's closet. She's not in Daisy's bathroom. Oh, my God. Where's the baby? Well, Molly, don't panic because obviously we can hear her laughing. Let's just listen for the sound of her laughing. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. Why is she saying yummy? Wait a minute. Does she have my muffins? <laughs> Sounds like she's coming from out here. I know, Molly. <laughs> Maybe she's in the bottom of the pool. Molly, I doubt it. I'm going down to look. Molly, she's not in the bottom of the pool. She could be. Okay, yeah, no, she's not. Oh, dear, Molly. Jeepers. 
Where is my sister? Where is my sister? Marty, I'm starting to freak out. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Wait a minute. It sounds like it's coming from her nursery. Ooh, yummy. Sounds like it's coming from under her crib. I do, right, Molly? Wait, what? What is this? What's under that blanket? <laughs> Baby Kira? What? What? Ah! Ah! I fell down! What? What is under her crib? Oh, oopsie. I did a job, but a pretty colored unicorn. Pretty colored unicorn. Molly! She has, a, she has a bunker under her crib. And she stole all the muffins. What? You stole the muffins? You naughty baby! This is gonna be like you in time out forever! I can't even think right now. I'm so, I'm so astonished that you built this under your crib. You're only a toddler. I know, right, Molly? She's quite the genius, if you ask me. I know. Why didn't I think of this when I was a toddler and had to take a nap? <laughs> I could have been eating muffins and like seriously, I could have, I could have been watching TV. Mmm, these muffins are delicious. Am I going to tell mom about your bunker under your crib? Um, well, uh, hmm. If I don't tell mom, maybe I can use the bunker. <laughs> oh, brother Molly. Yeah, we'll watch the brightly colored unicorn. Girls, I'm home. Where are you? Oh, man, mom's here. Everybody out of the bunker. Molly, watch out! You're pushing! Ah! Daisy! <laughs> Baby Kira, get in your crib. I just don't put my up, okay? Girls, where are you? We're in here, Mom, and everything's totally normal. <laughs>
don't want to go back to my room. It's so scary. I know. Well, do you want me to tell you a story? Maybe it'll help you. Yeah, I do. Well, when I was your age, I was afraid of a lot of things. When I was a little kid, I was afraid of everything, especially when it got dark outside and I was supposed to be sleeping. Oh, um, gee, I definitely heard something in my room. Oh my gosh, I'm hiding under my blankets right now. Only my pigtails are sticking out because I am so afraid. I hear something creepy. <laughs> What's that? What's that in my room? Ah, it's an evil clown! It's an evil clown! Molly, what are you yelling about? There's an evil clown in my room. There's an evil clown! Wait, wait, where'd he go? There, there was an evil clown in here. He's probably under the bed. Molly, oh, would you go back to sleep? My sister Daisy wasn't afraid of anything, but I feel like my childhood fears were taking over my life. Uh, every single night when I would try to go to sleep, I'd see evil things in my room, like clowns and lots of other things. I better go back to sleep. Uh, I have preschool in the morning. I'm sure there's nothing in here that could get me. What's going on? Why is my light flashing? What could that be? <laughs> I'm going to take your eyeballs and eat them for lunch. Ah! It's an evil witch! Daisy! Wake up, Daisy! Daisy! Molly, this is starting to get very old. I'm very tired, you know. I have a science experiment in the morning. Daisy, we're in preschool. Why are you doing a science experiment? Because I'm going to be a famous scientist. Now, what are you talking about? There's nothing scary in this room at all. But, but, there was a witch here just a minute ago. She was flashing the lights on and off. Marty, I think you're having nightmares. I don't even think this is real. No, I'm awake. I'm telling you, I swear it. I'm going to leave this light on because I don't trust that there's not going to be something creepy coming in here. Oh, great. I get to sleep with the light on. Perfect. Just pull the covers over your head. You won't even know it. But I think it's going to keep the evil things out of our room. Ugh, I can't even get back up into my bed. I'm so tired. Ugh. Ugh. So then, baby Kira, I fell fast asleep. That's what happens when you're totally exhausted from things coming to, to scare you all night. You get very tired. sound. Ah! It's a dinosaur! Why is there a dinosaur in my room? They went extinct a long time ago! Daisy! 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 Oh, Molly, why are you jumping at me? Were you crazy? Daisy, there's a dino in our room! He's, he's right over there! Molly, your eyes are so closed. You're sleeping! What? No, I'm not. I'm wide awake! Molly! This went on night after night for a really long time, and it got to be that I was afraid to sleep on my bed. I only wanted to sleep with my mom because I felt like she could protect me from the witches, the clowns, the dinosaurs, and in even the worst nightmare of all. I'm hungry. I need a banana split. I'm starving. I, I need a banana split. Scariest nightmare of all, a giant banana! a lot. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is, sorry, I can't stop laughing. <laughs> Baby Kara, listen. Okay, what? Well, your fears are sometimes just that, fears. They're, they're not real. I found out that I was just having some nightmares, and when I stopped eating bean burritos before bed, 
I felt a lot better. Really? Uh, I eat cupcake before bed sometimes. Well, I bet it's all the sugar you're eating that's giving you some nightmares. I I might just not want to sleep in my room still because there's scary things in there. Nah, there's nothing scary in there. Trust me. This is from the girl who was afraid of a giant banana. <laughs> now that I think about it, and I said it out loud, I was afraid of a giant banana. I was afraid of a giant banana. <laughs> That's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I got so ridiculous. Thanks, Mai. You've made me feel better. But the clown and the witch and the dinosaur, they weren't real? No, none of them are real. I just had a bad dream. And it scared me. But you know what, baby Kira? If you have any more bad dreams, you can always come into my room. And I'll make sure there's no monsters in your room. Thank you so nice, Molly. Now come on, let's get you to bed. It's getting very late. Night, night, tucked in tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. The bed bugs? Ew! Just kidding, there's no bugs. Ugh, I'm terrible at tucking in my sister for bed. <laughs> Ugh, time to go to sleep myself. on the curb. Oopsie. Ugh. Driving your dad's car is so difficult. I wish my car wasn't in the shop. Oh well, I eventually got it. <laughs> Baby Kara, are you coming? Oh, bye, go to preschool. Why not? You're going to make so many friends, honey. And your teacher, Jenna, I met her last week. She's so nice. Oh, bye, go, not go, we. Baby Kira, please get out of the car right now. I'm not going. Baby Kira, we talked about this. Come on, your teacher is so nice. You're gonna have so much fun. I wanna stay home all day and play with my toys. I just don't but I just don't want to play. All right, we're gonna try not to talk baby talk because you're a big girl now. I'm not big girl. I do girl. I stay home. Come on, let's go in and just talk to the teacher. You can see me a hiding. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Mrs. Acker. Oh, who do you have behind you there? This is my daughter, Kira. She's being a little shy today since it's her first day of preschool. Oh, hi, I'm Jenna. Nice to meet you. You can't see me. I'm invisible. Oh, I don't think you're invisible because I can see you, sweetie. Look, you're going to have so much fun with the other kids. You're the first one here, though, so uh, maybe we could get to know each other. All right, baby Kira, I have to get to work. I'll see you later. Don't leave me here, Mama. Don't leave me here, Mama. It's going to be okay, baby Kira. Do you want a fuzzy stuffed animal to hug? No, I want to go home, play with my toys, and, and, and hug my stuffed elephant. Oh, you have a stuffed elephant at home? Well, here at preschool, we have a stuffed hippo, and he absolutely love snuggles here i'm gonna give them to you okay i don't think this is gonna work well i'm sure it will sweetie okay i'm gonna go check you in and the other students should be arriving soon good morning miss jenna good morning Susie. it's so good to see you it's great to see you too hey guess what there's a new student here named kira which would, would you make her your friend Susie? of course i will i love making everyone my friend Great, she's right over here. Baby Kira, this is one of our other students, Susie. You guys, I think, will be great friends. I won't be anyone's friend. Oh, Baby Kira, that's not a very nice attitude to have on your first day of preschool. I don't need friends. I need my mommy. I need my mommy! Oh, sweet girl, everything's gonna be okay. Oh, look, Stephen's here. Good morning, Stephen. Hi. Whoa, you had a growth spurt over the weekend, I see. Will we have a new student, baby Kira? Come meet her, Steven. I am Steven. I don't care, I want to go home. Wow, I think we need to have a better, nice attitude, okay, baby Kira? 
I don't want to have to call your mommy. Yeah, call my mommy. This is total. What did you just say? She said a bad word. Whoa, teacher, baby Kira said a bad word. <laughs> okay, Steven, not funny. Baby Kira, we do not say that word. I'm sorry you're sad you're at preschool, but this is where your mom says you need to you need to be. I want to. This is total. All right, everyone, just play with the toys. I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, I've never had a student say that word before. Um, I think I should call her mom. Hi, this is Mrs. Acker. How can I help you? Hi, um, this is Jenna from the preschool, and oh no, what happened? Is Baby Kira all right? Um, yes, but, um, well, we're a little shaken up right now because baby Kira said a naughty word. What? She's never said a naughty word in her entire life. Well, she did. What word did she say, Jenna? She said, What? Are you serious? I, I can't believe this. Well, she did. I don't know what you want to do about it, but, um, I'll be right there. I need to see baby Kira for myself. Yeah, it'd probably be better if you pick her up. Maybe she's just not ready for preschool yet. I want to go home. I want to go home. You know what, baby Kira? I don't know if you're really ready for preschool yet, but your mommy is coming. Really? I could go home, play with my toys, and be with my mommy. But here's something for you to think about, baby Kira. Every child, well, they have sometimes a difficult transition starting school. It's okay to be afraid or to even miss your mommy or daddy. But eventually you're going to make friends here and have so much fun. I want to have fun. Hello, is anyone here? Oh yeah, we're back here in the play center. Hi, Mrs. Acker. I'm sorry to have to call you during the work day. Mama, mama, mama. I'm just so shocked that she said such a naughty word. Not my daughter. I'm sorry, but I just don't think this is even possible. You must have misheard her. Well, Mrs. Acker, she said it twice. I'm pretty sure I didn't mishear her. Well, maybe you did. I mean, have you had your annual hearing screening? Yes, I had my annual physical with my hearing tested. Okay, I'm just saying, maybe you have some wax in your ears because my daughter doesn't say naughty words. Um, okay, well, um, uh, do you want to bring her back tomorrow or do you think maybe she needs to be home for a little longer and she's not ready to start pre-k? She's ready and we'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> this was all just a big misunderstanding. Okay, well baby Kira, I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully with less of a potty mouth. Okay, Susie, Steven, let's um gather up. We're going to get our snacks going. Oh, hey Brookie, what's up? Hey Molly, I was just wondering, are you excited about your half day? Yeah, you should come over and hang out. It'd be super fun. Sorry, I can't. I've got a ton of chores to do. Ugh, that sounds like the pits. Totally does. Now, baby Kira, I expect you to tell me the truth. Did you say a naughty word? Um, Brookie, there is some sort of drama going on here. Um, I'll call you back later, okay? Okay, Molly, bye. Bye. What? Baby Kira said a naughty word? Uh, no, I didn't say it. I said... Stinky potatoes. <laughs> yeah, right. That's the oldest line in the book. She didn't say stinky potatoes. Um, well, I, I, uh, well, you can try preschool again tomorrow. Maybe we'll have better luck. Molly, what are you guys doing? Uh, we're watching some TV since we're home early from school. Early dismissal is the best day ever. I had the worst day ever. I was total. Holy guacamole! Where did you hear that? I uh, hear what? That super naughty word. You can't say that. That's a that's that, 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 that's a very naughty word. Ah! Oh my gosh! Girls, what's going on? Um, baby Kira said a naughty word. Really? What naughty word? I better whisper it in your ear, Mom. That's what I thought she said, baby Kira. I can't believe this. Jenna was right. She didn't have wax in her ears. That is very naughty. You are not supposed to say that. Oh, why even um go back to you tomorrow? Well, you're not only going back to pre-K, but you're also going to have your time out for the first time. Whoa, your first time out. This is a big deal, baby Kira. I want to. 
You know the timeout chair. You've seen your sister Molly in it plenty of times. Go sit in it. Oh, me? No, I haven't been in the timeout chair that many times. Yeah, right, Molly. Ha, <laughs> ha, You spend more time in the timeout chair than you do anywhere else. Can't believe my foot timeout! <laughs> Don't worry, baby Kira. The timeouts get easier as they go on. You sort of entertain yourself by thinking things in your mind, like, what kind of snack do I want when I get out of timeout? Molly, no talking to the prisoner. Sorry, baby Kira. You're in this alone. <laughs> Poor kid. I remember my first time out. It was not fun. <laughs> Oh my gosh, my soccer ball just almost ran down the hill. And if it rolled down that hill, oh my gosh, I'd have to run so fast to catch it. Or I'd probably get hit by a car. Whoa, no, don't go over the edge. Oh man, not again. Hey, loser. Who, who's that? Do they have a Corvette or is that a Ferrari? I can't even tell the difference because I'm too poor to afford an amazing car like that. So, oh gosh, it's Sarah. Hey, loser. Hey, Sarah. Where'd you get that car? My daddy bought it for me. Isn't it amazing? Uh, yeah, it really is. Could I go for a ride? No, loser. I just wanted to tell you that tomorrow is rainbow day. Everyone at school is supposed to wear rainbow. And what happens if you don't? You get expelled. What? You're kidding me. I don't even own anything that's rainbow. Well, you better get some because all the cool kids are going to be wearing this and all the losers who don't are going to get expelled. The principal said so. Now I'm out of here. You're really making me look bad. But, but what if I can't find something rainbow? Then you'll get expelled, duh! Oh my gosh, I gotta go tell Daisy. We're going to definitely have to go to the mall and go shopping. Daisy, Daisy, where, Daisy? I've been here, Molly, making a snack. Ooh, that looks delicious. Daisy, no time for a snack! What? No time for a snack? Who are you? And what have you done with my sister, Molly? <laughs> you always have time for a snack. Not today. Sarah just drove by in her Corvette, Ferrari, I don't know, fancy car, and she said that if we aren't wearing rainbow tomorrow at school, we're gonna all get expelled. What? That must be not true. She was wearing a rainbow shirt. Whoa, if she did it, that must mean it's true. What are we going to do? We don't own anything rainbow colored. Well, we have to do your favorite thing. Go shopping, of course. I better call Brookie on the way. Let her know so she doesn't get in trouble. I mean, why didn't the principal just make an announcement? I don't know, but it sounds pretty serious. We need to get these rainbow colors and right away. <laughs> hey, this is Brookie. What's up? Brookie, this is an emergency. Molly, are you okay? What's going on? Are you at the hospital? No, but I just heard that if we don't wear a rainbow tomorrow, we're going to be expelled. What? Oh my gosh, Molly, why? I don't know. Sarah didn't say. She just said we better wear a rainbow tomorrow. Um, I don't own any rainbow. Me either, so want to meet us at the mall? Hopefully we can find something there. Sure, I'll meet you there, Molly. Thanks for letting me know. I'd hate to get expelled. My parents would never forgive me. Me either. Let's see you at the mall, Brookie. Bye. Buddy, hop on. Do you want to get to the mall or not? Yeah, we have to get there before they close, or I don't know what we do. I don't know either, Molly. Let's just hope they have some rainbow-colored clothes. Well, I was just thinking that maybe this could be rainbow-colored because, like, look, it's got, like, the galaxy on it. Not good enough! You're gonna, you're gonna get detention and then get expelled and then never be able to return to school. Yeah, sounds like the principal is taking this really seriously. Yeah, it really does. Come on, let's go into Rockstar and see what we can find. No, no, no. How about this? This is striped like a rainbow. Molly, there's only three colors. Rainbows have more colors than that. Okay, um, uh, uh, what else do they got? Um, come on, don't let me down. Oh, look, I look adorable. I got mine. I got mine. Brookie, how are you doing? I can't find anything except for this silly party hat. Oh, no, yeah, that will not do. You need to change your shirt. Um, See if you can find something. 
I don't have anything in my size. Uh-oh. Brooke, he's going to get expelled. Bam, bam, bam. No, Molly, no, no, no. We'll just help her. Even if we have to just color her shirt in with some markers. How about these? <laughs> these will work, right? No, you need a shirt that's rainbow. Oh, my gosh. Don't worry. Daisy's got a good idea. We can go to the craft store and, and just color your shirt in with, like, some... Some, like, Sharpie markers, okay? All right. I feel like I'm going to look ridiculous. No, no, no. You'll be fine. Come on, let's go. Just one more color and it will be complete. Don't stick me with that needle, Molly. No, it's just how I'm making the colors on your tie-dye shirt. There. Perfect. Oh, thank goodness. We all have our rainbow-colored clothes for tomorrow. Now none of us will get expelled. Yeah, but I got to get home and do my homework. I'll see you guys in the morning. Sounds good. Bye. Whoa. We all wore our rainbow shirts. We're not going to get expelled now. Come on. Let's get into class. Oh, look who it is. Loser one. Loser two. What? Who's that loser? And loser three. Oh, my God. Sarah, you you wore your Billie Eilish shirt. But, but, but today's rainbow day. And if you, you didn't wear rainbow, you're going to get expelled by the principal. <laughs> You losers fell for that. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? <laughs> Today's not Rainbow Day at all. Wait, it isn't? No, and now you guys look like a bunch of freaks, weirdos. Oh my gosh. I haven't worn a rainbow colored shirt since, I don't know, five years old, and now I look ridiculous. Everybody knows that these Billie Eilish shirts are the cool ones. Well, what about mine? Mine's tie-dye. Isn't mine cool? No, not even. I have your attention, please. This is the principal. Oh my gosh, the principal's gonna make an announcement. Probably that you guys are total losers. <laughs> Today is Rainbow Day. If you aren't wearing a rainbow shirt, please report to the office. What? What are you talking about? I, I, there's no such thing as Rainbow Day. Uh, Sarah, you better report to the office. The principal seems a little bit annoyed. Sarah, you didn't wear rainbow on rainbow day? What is going on here? Didn't you hear the rumor? If you don't wear rainbow on rainbow day, you get expelled by the principal. But you're the principal. Yeah, but, but I don't want to have to expel myself, so I wore rainbow too. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Where did you hear the rumor from? One of the teachers in the faculty room. They, they said that, 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 that we had to wear rainbow today. Or Brookhaven would be exploding. And also all the students would get expelled. Whoa, 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 whoa. I never said Brookhaven would explode. Wait a minute. You made up rainbow day? Oh my gosh. The plot thickens. Um, Mr. Sminikins, I don't know what you're talking about, but I made up the whole rumor. Wait, what? Why did you do that? Why is... Why? So that I could make Molly, Daisy, and our friend Brookie look ridiculous in front of the whole school. But the only one that looks ridiculous is you. Everyone else is wearing rainbow. Well, that, that's just because I'm awesome. The entire football team and cheerleading team are all wearing rainbow. What? Billie Eilish is so not cool on Rainbow Day. What? The, I, I, you, uh, are expelled. What? But, but, I have no choice. It's the rules on Rainbow Day. Oh, this is the worst day ever. Molly and Daisy, I'm going to get my revenge on you. Oh. I wonder what happened to Sarah. She's been gone a really long time. Oh, I can't believe this. I got expelled. Oh my gosh, Sarah got expelled. Well, must be the rumors about Rainbow Day were actually true. 